welcome to itrafik in today's video i i am going to explain you about the select statement of mysql the select statement is used to retrieve zero or more rows from a table and you already know what is uh, the meaning of rows in a database or a table rows means record the select statement is used to retrieve zero or more records from your table the syntax for the select statement is first you will write select then the column name suppose i am uh, selecting the student table and in my table there are uh, different columns from there i want to select name comma age comma address then the table name select name comma age comma address from after from the table name suppose the table name is student so student student after that we will write where after where the condition will come suppose i want the student whose names uh, whose roll number is greater than 10 for that we will write roll greater than 10 again group uh, by group by suppose i want to group the students by gender then i can write group by gender means male and female both student will be in different groups and i want to uh, order also the record in two ways either in ascending or descending or descending for that we can write order by a s c for ascending order and d e s c for descending order after that semicolon so this is the basic syntax for select statement if uh, in exam you will write the state syntax like this way select column 1 comma column 2 comma column 3 from table one then you can go to next line where condition after the condition group by group then one more command you can write having group condition then the last one is order by order by either asc ascending or desc descending then semicolon so this is the basic format of select statement there are three ways to retrieve data from a table they are first one select all column and rows or selected column <coughs> selected column and all rows for this example suppose i have selected only name age and address from the student table and i ha i want to see all the records for that i will use the first one selected column and all rows number two selected rows and all columns selected rows and all columns suppose i want to see all the information about the student but i want to see only some particular students i want to see only the female student or male students information then uh, we'll use the second one selected rows and all columns third one 
selected column and selected rows for this one uh, suppose i want to see the name and age of the students whose name are started with s then we can use the third one selected column and selected rows now let's have some practical example first we'll select uh, first we'll see selected column and all rows for this for that first uh, we'll select our database by using commands use db1 inside that uh, we have one table that table name is student so first let's see all the information from the table the command is select star from student info so i have uh, the, this following information in my table as student info name is too long so let's rename the name alter table student info rename student so my table has been renamed to student now now let's have some command of uh, selected column and selected rows suppose from here i want uh, the student i want the information of the students like a uh, name age and total marks i want uh, three these three columns and i want only the students who scored a1 for that we'll write the command is select name comma age comma total marks then we'll use uh, you, we, we will write form form student after that where grade equal when our uh, grade equal when our value is numeric we can directly write if our value value is character or string then we'll write within quotation as it is a character so we'll write inside quotation then semicolon I have uh, written the grade spelling wrong that's why showing error you have to be careful while you are typing the command so in my table there was just one student who scored a1 that's why it's displaying only one student's information this is example of selected column and selected rows now let's see the student who have uh, scored grade b2 so in place of a1 i will write b2 so they are the students who scored b2 oh now um, move to next command selected rows and all the co uh, columns means we want to see all the information of the students but uh, depending on particular conditions suppose i want to see the students whose uh, age is null for that we'll write select star star means i have selected all the columns from student where so we'll write like this way select star from student where age is null now suppose i want to see the student information whose uh, roll number is greater than 3 and i want to see all the information for that we'll write select star from student where roll number greater than 3 
so these are the information roll number four roll number seven now i want the inform uh, student whose roll number is less than four for that we'll write roll number uh, select star from the st select star from student where roll number less than four then semicolon so they are the students whose roll number is less than four these are the example of all columns selected rows as uh, my table have five rows but here displaying only three rows but all the columns now we have the next uh, command that is selected column and selected rows now i want a uh, selected column suppose i want only the name and marks from the student who scored uh, a1 for that we'll write select name comma total marks where or from student then where roll number not roll number grade grade equal a1 so this is uh, this is the student who scored a1 now suppose i want to see the student uh, name and total mark who scored b1 so in place of a1 write b1 select name comma total marks from student where grade equal b1 so we have only one student who scored b1 that is raj now let's see a2 rahul scored a2 so this way we can select uh, we can uh, use selected column and selected rows for queries now how to eliminate uh, duplicate values first let's see what what information have in our table for that the command is select asterisk or star from student semicolon we don't have any duplicate values here so first let enter one duplicate value then we can eliminate it first we'll write a uh, for that we'll write the command insert insert into student values suppose i will uh, add the roll number is 5 name duplicate again sayanika age uh, 15 total marks 450 grade a2 phone number 9876453210 then bracket close semicolon now let's see the information now we have two students with same name now i want to eliminate the duplicate name for that the command is select distinct select distinct d i s t i n c t and in bracket we'll write the column name from which column i want to remove the duplicates i want to remove the duplicates from name columns so i will write name then from student semicolon so here you have seen cyanica's name displayed only once if i don't write the distinct keyword here if i remove the distinct and just write a name then cyanica's name will display two times and if i write the distinct select distinct name from student it will display only once so the distinct keyword is used to eliminate or remove the duplicates from our tables so in 
this year syllabus he will require only till select statement from range it's uh, omitted you don't require for hslc for today's video this much only see you in the next video till then take care and bye